<laughs> you can't watch your guesses. <laughs> oh, wow. Pyramid sauce. Wow. Not feeling well. My head feels like it's gonna explode. <laughs> Oh, this isn't good. Okay, look, ghouls, I feel like death warmed up. <laughs> well, yep, need some pyramid pie and a good old cat nap. No, oh, by Sphinx, I'm not going to be able to do this today. Oh, let's reschedule for tomorrow. I better crash out before I start to puke fur balls. Okay, everyone, maybe we should all get some rest. It's been a hectic week and we've all earned some downtime. On Toralai's behalf, this meeting is adjourned. We'll catch up with everything tomorrow. Hopefully, Toralai will be feeling better then. Thanks so much for coming to the gym early. All this has been really freaking me out. I got here and I heard weird noises coming from inside the gym. I wasn't even game to take a peek until you arrived. Who knows what's going on in there? Right, are you ready? All right, but I'm following your lead. You're a braver ghoul than I am. Oh no! Cleo, what's going on here? Why are there new fear leaders practicing? It's so close to the Monster Nationals. It'll be a disaster to change the lineup. My, my, how the worm turns. And don't get me wrong, Frankie. You and the new ghoul really are little worms. Two-faced, untrustworthy, troublesome worms that should have been squished long ago. But why? Why are you doing this? I, I thought you wanted to win the Monster National. But I will. With this fear-leading team, I am in total control. Watch them. See their precision. Their moves are total perfection. Not only will I win the Monster Nationals, but I will rule Monster High. You can't do this. It isn't right. But I can, and I already have. Right doesn't even come into it. I am queen of this school, my power bestowed on me by the pharaohs of old. My rule is absolute. Everything I do is right. Come on, ghouls, snap out of it. 
Claudine, Draculaura, Spectra, Katrine, please wake up. Step out of it. Say something. Say anything. No! Yes! My dear, now you finally understand my absolute power over the fear leading team. And it doesn't stop there. Soon Monster High will be my playground. It's students, my little toys. However, like Spook and Common, I am a merciful ruler and may have some use for you yet. Both of you amuse me with your silly talk of right and wrong. Walk away now while you still can and never return to fear leading practice. You have been warned by the power of the Sphinx. You are banished. Return and my anger will know no bounds. That was way too close. It's just gotten real. There's something walking through the halls of Monster High, spreading its own brand of crazy at an alarming rate. If we don't do anything soon, it'll take over the whole school. So, what do we do next? So, Gulia knows something more about all this. Well, we need to find her. I'm going to find her. Come and talk to us when you can. New Ghoul, you made it! Ghoulia was just telling me what she dug up about Cleo's amulet. <laughs> Come on, Ghoulia, tell the new Ghoul what you discovered about the amulet. <laughs> Great! Let's do it! I'll see you both there tomorrow at lunch.
Good morning, everyone. I'm really sorry about yesterday. All of my planets must have been out of alignment, and Horace was screeching in my ear. Caw, 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 caw. Man, it gave me the heebie jeebs. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. You're probably wondering how the snake sale went. Gotta love those cookie cats. Hmm? Yeah, so to cover all that stuff, better than I ever could is our Count Skull Treasure, Abby the Gabby. Okay. Thanks for that, Toralai. Well, I am happy to say it is all good news. The second fundraiser exceeded all expectations. To use technical term, we made absolutely truckloads of money. Not only will we have enough to fix everything in Casketball Corp, but we will also have extra money left over for new to-do list items that were given by students to improve school. Council should be proud. In very short time, we have been able to improve the student facilities at Monster High. Oh, oh, oh! You have questions, Spectra? Sphinxy tells Spectra to keep extra treasure. It's destiny for Council to build big hot tub or maybe big pyramid pool. We earn lots of bubbles, no troubles. Spend them rah rah on precious hot tub and pyramids. Abby, make them happen! Hey, that's not such a bad idea. Having us pharaohs, um, <clears throat> council members earned ourselves a bit of a treat. I mean, we're the ones who worked like were dogs, posting flyers around the school, pushing those huge stone blocks, selling cookies, building pyramids. Why not keep the extra cash and spend it on ourselves? Torelai, we cannot do that. Why? It's not like anyone can stop us. Abby's right, Tarlai. Taking that money is what's called corruption. It's just like stealing. Don't forget, we weren't the only ones involved in making the bake sale a success. The cooking club spent heaps of time baking the cookies, and the students gave us their support by buying them. It's their money as much as ours. 
We could always let them dip into the warm, bubbly waters of the Nile. That would keep them happy. If not, feed them to the Sphinx. Enough! What is up with you ghouls? You would never consider keeping money before. Torelai, please don't do this. We've only just earned the students' trust by making those improvements to the school. If anyone found out, it would spell doom for the student council. Enough! I am student disembodied president, and what I say goes. This queen of the council decrees that we are keeping the extra treasure and using it to build a hot tub. Maybe even a pyramid in the pool, or whatever else I want. Do not test my patience. Torelai, the council is a democracy. We should all have a say. At the very least, put it to a vote. Vote, schmote, boat, coat, hmm, moat. We could use one of those if the students ever rise up against the council. Note to self. Torelai! Oh, very well, then. If that is what it will take to silence you do-gooders, then ye shall have it. All those in favor of pyramid hats and scarab-flavored ice cream, raise your hand. That is wrong vote, Torelai. Ah, uh, what to do with extra fundraising money, remember? Ah, oh, yes. All those in favor of keeping the extra fundraising money so the council can build a hot tub, moat, pyramid, or anything else we want. Raise your hand. All those opposed. That's three in favor, three against. It's a tie. Well, I hope you're all happy now. That didn't achieve anything. We're right back where we started. Sheesh. So what do we do now? I want hot tub. I want hot tub. I want hot tub. Oh, feeling woozy. Okay, then. We'll postpone the vote until the next council meeting. Hopefully, the Sphinx willing, someone will come to their senses and we'll get this sorted. What about money to repair casketball court? Can we get Ghoul to take money to blood goods so improvements can be rolled out? Yes, yes, yes! By Her Majesty's pet asp, do I have to do everything around here? Take the funds for the casketball court to blood good. Give the extra treasure to Katrina Inspector to protect. Blah, blah, blah. Get it gone. Meeting adjourned. Please leave.
So, does this book have a name? Maybe someone doesn't want us to get to the bottom of what's going on at Monster High. Let's split up and look. Hey, Gulia, I think I found something. You said that the Hyro thingy was bound in bandages, didn't you? Is this it? Hey, Gulia, look what I found. I think this might be one of the pages you're looking for. It's got a picture of an artifact that looks exactly like Cleo's gold amulet. Does this help at all? Wow, these pages don't paint a pretty picture. Let's see here. Thousands of years ago, King Spookenkamen was the headmaster of Pharaoh High, where all of Egypt's monsters and mythical creatures attended school. 
Unfortunately, like so many kings, he yearned to rule the world. His role as headmaster gave him access to students with incredible powers, so he began possessing them via a curse and started assembling an army to do his bidding. His plan was stumbled upon by a younger headmistress, Bloodgood, who was visiting Pharaoh High to set up a student exchange program. She reported him immediately to the monster school administrators. As a result, Headmaster Spook in Common was banished into a gold amulet where he could no longer harm students, teachers, and the monster world at large. It turns out the gold amulet was inherited by Cleo's mom from her estranged brother, Spook in Common, when he disappeared without a trace. Of course, only Bloodgood and the monster school administrators knew where he really was. Trapped in the gold amulet for an eternity, no doubt planning his revenge. <laughs> I think there's only one thing we can do. We need to warn Bloodgood, show her the pages of the Hyropedia, and tell her that her old nemesis, Spook in Common, is out to get her. Who knows? She might even call in the monster school administrators as backup. <laughs> Yeah, that should work. How about this? Tomorrow, we meet outside Bloodgood's office. Then, we go in, show her the Hyropedia, and she'll fix everything. <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime, be extra careful. It's becoming scary out there, and not in a scary, cool way. <laughs> A week? We don't have much time. Okay then, better get some rest, ghouls. We'll meet up again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. 